What up guys, it's Renox here. Now, today we are back with the Demises of War. Something that uh, I am just putting tons and tons and tons of episodes out. Um, this is my fourth or fifth episode. I cannot remember because I've been recording for so long. Um, they're about 12 to... Uh, sorry, anywhere from 10 to f nearly 15 minutes long. Um, due to the fact that it is a very long process to do. Now we're on turn 9 at the moment. I don't think we can do much. Except from the Germans. I've decided that they're near our Scottish area. And we can build a port there. And we can build a runway there, of course. But I don't see the real point of putting anything there. Um, especially that we got one down south. Um, and we, we don't need anything else. Unless we build another aircraft carrier and put a ton of aircraft on it. I don't see the point of that. We could send another fighter jet across. But honestly, I would like a helicopter and um, fighter jets. Just to have a mixed combination of whilst we are attacking... Um, helping the uh, Norwegians, um, as of course the Norwegians are starting to take over parts of Russia. Well, might. We don't know yet. And the Romanians, of course, we are worried about uh, because they are now against us, um, thanks to the French, the Spanish and the Germans. So we can't do anything about that. And also the Norwegians, I believe, they are involved in it. Um so I think, obviously, Romania are going to be very screwed. Uh, but we don't know. We don't know yet. You just keep finding out uh, new things. So in this episode, I said that I was going to put some more transport ships across and try and move my forces uh, downwards um, and try and get them across into uh, French and Spanish borders. Um, and we are starting to do that. Uh, it's just getting a long process. Okay, so I don't think we can do anything more here. Uh, so we're on turn 10 now. Okay, so let's have a look then. Uh, so we've taken over the whole of that. That's pretty good. Okay, so the oil's pretty good. What's going on here? I believe it's in our best interest to form an alliance. Do you accept? Minus 8 happiness, minus 3% happy, uh, happiness. I really do want to find out what is going on in Tunisia, um, but I don't have... Do you know what? Just do it. So we've accepted an alliance with Tunisia. Um, so i put that down. But it's not going to last forever because it's a short-term... Um, it's just a short-term thing because I do not... I want to just find out what is in Tunisia. Um, of course, we don't find out anything until until uh, next, le next um, well, next anything. So it looks like the Spanish are attacking Tunisia, so let's just find out. So they're at war with France and Spain, uh, but have an alliance with, of course, us, Baltic, Roman, uh, Romania and Turkey, but that will not last forever, forever with us. We just want to make sure we can find out as much information about everyone else. They, yes, they get to find out information about us, but there's nothing really to find out. Uh, we're just a very weak area. Uh, as long as they don't know that, then um, I'm perfectly fine. So let's just get our helicopter back over to our main base. And it looks like the French are trying to send an air, well, not an airstrike, but the Norwegians are re like moving a lot of their ships towards us. What? It's worrying for me, but of course that's just the normal um, norm uh, for them. And we'll move our aircraft carrier. Yes, it's moving away from our helicopter, um, but our helicopter has a lot of fuel, uh, so we can do we can do that. Uh, so moved troops, and we're on six hundred and ninety-seven coins. Always got to make sure that we're always keeping track of how much we're gaining or losing. Um, each turn. So let's have a look now. Okay, so apparently, because we're friends with Turkey, um, Turkey have spotted that they've got a Humvee, artillery guns on the coast, but not a lot of defences, of course. And Russia own a little bit there, and so do Romania, Baltic, um, 
but it looks like Romania is very undefended on its underside. Probably because it doesn't really need any defence there, because there's none of our allies are there. Um, yes, of course, the Greeks and Italia, um, sorry, the Italians are there, um, but the Spanish are mostly focusing on Tunisia, um, so it's not really, there's nothing really here, um, unless we bring over a huge force to engage. So we'll move our Humvee um, probably down into Italian areas. I uh, just want to quickly check, actually. Yeah, we'll move it down to Ita uh, Italian areas. Probably move it across through Germany and the Baltic state. What I don't think we can do because we're not got alliance. So, well, we can't do anything then. We have to wait until either the Germans take over Baltic or the French do. Um, sorry, the parts here, uh, around about here, uh, so we can have a crossing. Or we could wait until the Italians take over parts of Greece and um, then we can move into Romania. But we have to wait, unfortunately. Let's send a uh, alliance to them again. And also the Germans. I think we didn't get an alliance with, did we? Alliance. See, there we go. We, we need that before we can even pass through their land. So no matter what, we can do it. So, I uh, don't think there's anything more we can do. Um, of course, well, if there's nothing we can do, I haven't got a very big force, so I can't really do anything, in theory. Um, the blooming French took over our harbour, like last time I told you. Um, that was in turn 8, we lost um, the port to the French. So that's not good, we've only got to two ports around the whole of our land. We don't own much, uh, we only own 5% of the whole of the map, so that is pretty um, small compared to everyone else's. Uh, I think the Norwegians are the smallest, but we, we can check that out. Yeah, they only own 2%, so that's not good anyway. The Germans, 5%, so that's similar to us. The French, probably like, yeah, 11%. Uh, the Russians and Romanians probably in the most. 10%. 10. 7%. Nine. Uh, Turkish. Eight. And 11. So, well, the Italians probably got 6%, yeah? So, we have to try and... I'm going to say try and take these islands over. But unfortunately, I don't have any units to um, travel overseas for far distances unless we can bring the I'd say bring that back into a harbour um, just try and move everything out of the way so let's end the turn um, into turn 11 so let's see what we can do now probably not a lot uh, knowing our strength so still oil and uh, money's gone up, that's pretty good. The Norwegians are moving a lot of forces into our area, what's a bit weird. I don't get why the French are, like they've got a ship up here, I, I don't see the point of that. Um, I would think they would want all their forces back here, uh, because of course that is where most of their forces are these days. Um, Italians not much, not much is going on anywhere. Uh, it looks like the Tunisians are going over into Romania. Romania have got uh, some soldiers, uh, hum Humvee. The Russians have got their artillery pieces and also uh, soldiers. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> but yeah, otherwise, not, not good. And they've moved their artillery piece into Russian land, so it's a bit weird. Uh, we can move our aircraft carrier now, can we? Let's see if I can get my helicopter onto it. Okay, no, I can't. We can either wait for it, or... Do you know what? Let's move it. Um, and then we'll move the helicopter next time. Uh, so, get that baby into port. No, we can't even reach the port. Uh, then get you to the helicopter um, runway. So we can't do really much because we haven't got enough forces or 
enough money to do anything. Um, that's the problem of being on an island, is you can't do anything. Um, you're not attached to anything, so it's really difficult to even get involved in any wars. Um, that's why you need a massive navy. That's why the British were so good in the navy, because uh, that's what they needed. I also want to do a quick shout out quickly um, for the 12th of May. Uh, is a video I've been waiting to release for ages. So I hope you guys enjoy me for that and uh, watch the video. Um, so yeah, that will probably be at 7 o'clock, I believe. Um, unless you're on a different uh, GM time. Uh, so yeah. So guys, I'm going to end it there. Uh, nah, well, let's just do one end of the turn. So we didn't do much, uh, we just moved some troops. Uh, so that was a pretty boring uh, turn, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Italians have alliance, um, has an alliance with us, so uh, alliance with Italy. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, and Germany have now just decided, do you know what, let's do it. Um, what is a very big... Oh, we've got my door then. So sorry about that massive slam. It's not a ghost or anything. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got that. And uh, everything gone back up, so that's good. And we start off with 929 in the next round, or the next turn. So guys, join me for that. Um, and I, you know, then we can, uh, we can go to the next turn for 12, turn 12 and 13, probably 14. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm Reynolds. Please like, subscribe, uh, and leave comments about this. Um, and thank you.